So, the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I check my Instagram posts. I then move to Snapchat or Twitter in between my classes, and again, conclude my day by scrolling through Instagram once more. It's like a cycle. Despite constantly being surrounded by friends or acquaintances, I nevertheless always go back to that phone, almost gravitating towards it. And I've come to realize that this isn't my attempt to isolate or detach myself from others. I just find that in those rare occasions in which humans actually do try and interact, we are only talking, but there is no real communication taking place. And that difference is monumental. You see, we've settled for, or better yet, have surrendered ourselves to empty and trivial conversation, small talk, no longer searching for anything deeper than superficial chit-chat. This phenomenon was brought to my attention because I am a storyteller. I love telling stories, but with the lack of people to share my stories with, I sometimes resort to social media in search for that depth lacking in real life. And I've come to the realization that we no longer use uh, communication as a mean to tell stories, but rather as a mean to pass time. And this realization can be disappointing, or better yet, discouraging. Social media uses a huge range of creative and artistic platforms to communicate, to transmit emotion, to connect. Social media tells stories. And all of this could be a great tool when building bridges between you and someone possibly on the other side of the globe. But when building this long bridge, we can sometimes forget to build one between us and the person sitting right next to us. You see, we've turned to social media to do the connecting for us, or instead of us, to compensate for our lack of initiative. We've... Sorry. Um, to compensate for our lack of initiative. We're so focused on reaching people kilometers away that we sometimes forget to acknowledge the person sitting right next to us, our friend or our neighbor. We share our view of the world through camera lenses. I give up with that. Yeah. We share our view of the world through camera lenses, Photoshop, and filters. We've become accommodated to communicating, not through our own words, but rather through the words of others, through, um, through quotes as captions. We've accommodated storytelling to fit the format of social media and not the other way around. Hearing this can be disheartening, but, but one mustn't worry, because humans came long before social media. We humans are the original storytellers. You see, long before there were blogs, people would sit around campfires to tell stories. Before there were posts, people would discuss. Before there were tweets, there was dialogue. Before social media, there was communication. So, what I propose is to take storytelling back. And to make this a reality, I propose a new frontier. To update social media, or better yet, to make social media social again. So, first order of business would be to completely turn the tables. To stop accommodating our needs to fit the format of social media and start translating social media's formats into ones more suitable for human-to-human -human interaction. So, the life-changing, ground-breaking, astounding alternative to, say, narrating how you spent your holiday would be to simply tell your friend about it. I know, it's crazy, but you can use emphasis, uh, facial expressions, hand gestures, and we all know we are not lacking them here in Italy. You, there's no use in, of data involved, and you don't even have to wait around for a response. So, it's a win-win situation for everyone. But what I'm suggesting is not to start big, huge, a nationwide movement that must involve millions. No, what I'm suggesting is to start small. A city, a street, or maybe even a room. Maybe even one like this. 
full of hundreds of storytellers and hundreds of stories to be told. Like I said, let's start small, maybe even with just one person. And I'll be that one person, and I hope you all take initiative after me. So, tell me your story. Thank you.